Peace and love. Welcome. Come on in. Welcome to the dynasty. My beautiful ones, let's get into this energy. Libra. Yes. My beautiful Libras, I hope that you are all doing well and feeling lovely. Yes, you know that I wish for all those beautiful things for you. Libra, anything that you need from me can be found below in the description section. One-on-one -on -one bookings as well as a link to a free natal chart so that you may explore all of those beautiful energies that lie from within inside of you. My beautiful Libras, let's go ahead, let's get into this energy, beautiful ones. This is your edition of a night cap yes whenever this message meets and greets your eyes and ears please know that it is for you remember to simply take what is yours and to leave what is not beautiful libras happy nine nine portal happy nine nine portal to my beautiful ones yes i hope that you're all doing well i hope that your day has gone swell as well okay yeah, I hope you're having a good energetic night tonight. So we're going to dip off into the energy of 9-9. Nine, nine, and I'm going to speak briefly about this portal that's open for you all now, okay? So today the portal opens. It's September 9th. And this is the gateway of spiritual evolution, okay? And it's meant for some heart healing to happen. Now, if you can recall yesterday's reading for your weekly forecast, I actually pulled the heart healing, okay? Heart healing um, chakra came out in one of the reads, right? So this is right on time. It was pretty much the introduction into the synergy that we are in currently, all right? Now, this is the energy of nine. So the energy of nine, this is vibrational number. This is a cycle that takes you back to the number one, okay? So nines are heightened in the energy. And it's a cycle that's letting you know things are wrapping up. And it also signifies compassion, love, as well as being a humanitarian of a sort, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, being able to extend compassion to those who you may even feel like you could have neglected, okay? Yeah, or someone that you know needs to, some compassion to be shown to them, all right? Now, the number nine is enhanced with two nines in this energy. So this is a good time to say goodbye or really make way for these transitions that you've already outlived, all right? There's some things in life that, you know, you know, it's, I mean, the time is up. You've outlived these things and the purpose that they had, you know, for you, all right? Whether it's in your career mm -hmm, or a love, all right? Or you may feel that you need some revamping in this energy, okay? So 9-9 nine, nine also invites you to let go of that old energy and invite some new energy in, okay? Remember that this is a cynical sign of endings only for new beginnings that are simply being disguised, all right? And you can consider this a rebirth of a sort, right? And those worn out patterns are the things that it is that you know you should be letting go that could possibly be self-sabotaging you with different habits that you may have, all right? It's time to let those things go and begin a plan, right? To liberate yourself from those things that may have held you back in the past, all right? So we know that deaths and endings, they're uncomfortable and they can, um, pretty much make you want to run away from even having to commit to seeing things through in the energy, right? And the energy of nine 
is no stranger to pain at the same time, all right? This is pushing you out of your comfort zone as well. And it could be scary to get out of your comfort zone and begin something new or even let go of a feeling that you felt made you feel some type of way at one point in time, right? But it no longer makes you feel that way. So if you're thinking, yeah, I want to refresh how I feel about something or someone, my outlook on them, and you feel that it's needed for you to really give a new afterthought, okay, when it comes to that person, this is the energy to be able to do that. So let go because this is all about you being able to transition in this energy, all right? You can manifest love and you can also manifest money in this energy, all right? Now, nine is a significant number because it's used for cosmic events, uh-huh. And it supports in the energy of shifts, whether it's a minor or a small shift, it's the energy to celebrate in. If you have done nothing to end, okay? If you, if, if you say for instance, you're in this energy of like, I don't have anything that I wanna end right now, okay? It's a beautiful day, like I said, to just show compassion and a portal that is open for you to do that, all right? So you'll feel this energy of or have this energy to work in, which could be life-changing for many of you for the next couple of days, all right? You could be an ear for a friend, or it could even be a stranger or somebody that you just even met, okay? Just helping someone in need and sending good energy to the people around you or the people that may enter your life, no matter how it is they enter your life. This is an opportunity for a fresh start. And whatever you put to an end on 9-9, nine nine, you can back it up with a fire power, okay? That is going to clear anything that felt like it was just leftover debris from the past, right? So Mercury enters into Virgo. We are now in the season of Virgo, right? And Mercury entered into Virgo today on 9-9. Nine nine. And this is about what makes everything feel good to you. This is how you feel and what you feel when you're at home, all right? Not just, you know, your surroundings, but at home from within inside yourself. This is an astronomical blessing as well as an astrology, astrological um, blessing, all right? So this energy, it represents communication and being able to make a day as beautiful as it is you'll allow it to be, okay? So speak with intention. Everything that you say, everything that you believe or feel from within inside of you, make sure that you are speaking with pure intentions, all right? And you're being truthful about what it is that you're calling in. Yeah, uh-huh. Because the universe does not operate off of confusion. So to be very articulate and very clear about what it is that you want to bring into your life and what it is you are ending, all right? This is that fire, you know, a zealous type of fire that allows you to be able to do that. Now, if you have any type of Aquarius placements in your astronomical chart, such as Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, 9-9 nine -nine energy, it'll be extra harmonious to you. So for those that have that Aquarius placement in your chart, yeah, uh, it's some extra fire there for you beautiful ones, okay? So go ahead and utilize that energy. Now, 9-9 nine, nine also, 9-9-20-24 nine, nine, this year, it condenses to the number eight. We are in the year of eight. So this is the number of power. Eight is the number of great power. So this portal is a beautiful day to put anything in your life that you feel could be limiting you or, you know, draw from um, the strength of who you are. Today is a day to really tap into that power that exists from within inside of you, beautiful one. So 
That is 99 Portal. I would love for you all to work with this energy and find out a year from now what took place, okay? Journal this energy, meditate on this energy, and really reflect on it. And like I said, be very intentional about what it is that you're asking the universe to remove and end, okay? Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, whether it's relationships with people, places, or persons, or just old habits that you want to end, okay? You got support from the universe with this portal. So that's my spiel. Uh Uh-huh. About 10 minutes long. So let's get into it, beautiful ones. Let's get into it. We are going to start with the energy. Oh, and you can work with amethyst. You could work with any purple crystal in this energy as well as any green crystals, anything connected to the heart chakra. All right. So... Go ahead, grab your water, get whatever it is you need, uh uh-huh, for this read. I have a immunity booster juice that I'm sipping on, uh uh-huh. Juicing, juicing, juicing is what I've been doing. I like to pride myself on not being sick, but I got hit with the whammy, like, (laughs) back to back feels like. So, yeah, (laughs) there'll be no more of that. Okay, so I hope you're all feeling well and protect yourself. It's it's getting cold out here, okay? I don't know where you are, but um, summer is simmering down over here where I'm at, all right? Let's get into it. We're going to start off with the Sacred Destiny Oracle. I am protected by my host of angels, ancestors, and spirit guides as I channel these messages. I ask that my collaborative is protected as well. Spirit, give me energy for my beautiful Libras. Energy for my beautiful Libras. Let's see what comes out. Happy 9-9 portal, beautiful ones. Gonna take these. And it looks like it happens to be four. Yep. And I like it. Mm-hmm. I like it. Uh-huh. Yeah, let's talk about all this beautifulness that just came out in this portal. I love it. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Let's talk about it. Look, your overall energy is forgiveness. This is really, you know, what it's all about, this portal. You forgiving those that, you know, could have trespassed against you uh uh-huh, in any form or fashion. And also forgiving yourself, first and foremost, okay? Yeah. This is about also forgiving yourself in this energy. So forgiveness is here. If this could help you with a start of this 9-9 portal, I feel like this is a beautiful start to it, okay? You can start with journaling what it is you're forgiving, okay? Mm-hmm. Now, we have taking risk. Taking risk. You're being told to take some risk. Yeah. Take some risk. Wow, look at this. This is the Phoenix Rising. It's a very powerful card. The Phoenix Rising. Mm. So, I'm being told that, I mean, literally, this is like the Phoenix is rising, but it's not rising from out of the ashes. It's rising from out of the cosmos. And it's like, it's here to really take observation of everything that is below. Look how it looks like a portal, like the sky has opened up for this bird. 
Yeah, there's a portal that's open and it's here for you to take a risk, okay? Yeah. Now, only you know what that risk is that you may be really energetically inclined to take, right? But flow, flow with it. Flow with it, you know? It's, it's like being in this energy of liberating yourself from feeling any type of constraints that tell you that you can't be comfortable in your own skin. Yeah, just flow with this energy of being free with who it is you are. Yeah, I like that. And you got love. I mean, look at this big old stack. Uh -huh. Look at this big old stack, y'all. Out of all the cards to come out. Baby, this is you. Love. Yeah, you got love that's here. So let let love flow and take a risk when it comes to love is what I'm hearing. Yeah. Some of you may feel like you're done taking risks, but have you considered that you're not the same person taking the same risk anymore? Mm. Yeah. Going forward. You got going forward to come out. Yeah, you're definitely moving forward in this energy. And a risk is well worth taking is what I'm getting. You're worth the risk. How about that? Yeah, let's talk about it. Mm, I like that. I think we got like the best cards out of the deck for this energy. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's dip off into it. We're going to get into the energy of the sign of the times. Okay. Yeah, let's see what the sign of the times, <coughs> excuse me, have to offer up. Mm. Yeah, let's see. All right, give me a second, beautiful ones. Just going to adjust the energy uh-huh and get off into it a little more all right Spirit, give me energy for my beautiful Libras. Energy for Libra. Ah. I split the deck at reflection and mirror and heart, okay? Love. Somebody is mirroring you right now, or you could be mirroring someone in the energy, okay? energy is feather. Mm -hmm. You got the message that's here. Now, feathers are significant when it comes to the ancestors. Uh -huh. So some of you could be seeing feathers. Pay attention if you see feathers, all right? It's a message, all right? When it comes to feather. Frequency of seven, right? Uh-huh. Spiritual matters, as well as seventh house energy. This is the house that you rule, okay? I've split the deck, bull's eye, focus. You're being asked to focus in this energy, okay? Mm-hmm, focus. Mm. 
Let's talk about it. So we have endings that's here. I mean, yeah, spirit can't speak any louder than endings in this energy. This is what it's all about, frequency of 29. Now, we got the skull that's represented by endings. You see the skull here, but yet, even though this is a skull that represents death, you see new life growing out of really the crown of this skull, all right? So there's new life growing where something has ended, something new is beginning in the energy. These are bookends, uh-huh, yeah. These bookends, they hold together, really, the scriptures of life, right? Your life. You have the number 11 that's here that's letting you know some type of reset that's happening in the energy, okay? Yeah. The number 11 is here. Mm. And just as your oracle said in the sacred destiny, it told you to take a chance, take a take a risk. You're being told again, okay? This is really just repeating energy. Roll the dice. This is chance. This is chance. Roll the dice is what you're being told to do. Yeah. Take a risk. Take a chance. Be that bird, that phoenix that's rising from out of the cosmos. Uh-huh. Yeah. Step into this new energy. Mm-hmm. No fear is what I'm hearing. You have infinity to come out, which is the number eight. All right? Laid on its side and this is unlimited potential there's unlimited potential in this energy yeah it is this is about unlimited potential there are no endings to the things that you are capable of doing making happen in your life uh-huh and you're also being told to never give up and this is all about phrases. This is all about positive affirmations that you can tell yourself, all right? I'm going to post in the community board the energy of 99 Portal, and it's an affirmation for you all, okay? And you can understand really the energy of everything that I just talked about through this affirmation, and you could implement this into this energy of the portal for yourself, beautiful ones, all right? This is about motivation, all right? Motivation. This is the energy where not only can you provide motivation for yourself, but you're also able to extend this motivation to others as well, okay? Frequency of 24, which breaks down to a two, which brings it back to this infinity energy of eight, all right? Yeah. And again, 9, 9, 2024 20, is condensed down to the number 8 as well. I love it. This is powerful energy. It's very powerful, um, this portal. Yeah, it is. Let's go ahead. Let's get into it. Let's talk a little more. Uh-huh. Let's talk a little more about it. We're going to go ahead and... I want to dip into the sacred signs... Sacred signs, yeah, spirit is calling me. I'm just looking at this box. Yeah, it's like <laughs> the box is looking at me like, don't forget about me, uh-huh. Yeah, cause sometimes I put her up and then I forget about her. And then when I see her, I'm like, oh yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, now many of you are in this energy of, you know, cleansing your energy, uh-huh. Cause it was recommended in your forecast to do so. All right, so please continue with that energy. That's part of that spiritual hygiene, right? Uh-huh, yeah. And your spiritual hygiene being heightened in this energy only makes you more powerful, okay? It's like getting the yucky stuff up off of you, all right? So let's talk about it. You definitely are protected in this energy. Let's talk about it. Cards for my beautiful Libras, all right? Oh, I like it. I like the color scheme, first of all. Uh, let's get two more. All right. That's a lot. This is a lot. I can't take all of those. All right. Spirit, just two more. Two more. Thank you. All right. Mm. Yeah, I like this. Let's see. And I'll 
top. Bam. Wow, we got messages again. And uh, speaking of spiritual hygiene, you got spiritual cleansing that's here again. All right? So definitely, I said what I said. Uh-huh. Yeah. The spiritual cleansing is going to help to open up your third eye, beautiful one. So make sure you're on point with your spiritual cleansing, all right? Even if it's you getting in the shower and meditating using the energy of water, okay? Yeah. Because water is a healing energy, right? So let's talk about it. We got friendship that's here. I want to read this to you all. Mm-hmm. I want to read this to you all because I think it's beautiful that friendship came out in this energy for you all. You know, I was just thinking today, even before I started this read, about friends. Whatever happened to having friends? And I'm talking about true friends. You know, especially when it comes to the opposite sex. You know... People are so hurt and so damaged and so unhealed that they can't even be friends with you. You know, it's like it's this gray area of, look, either we're screwing one another or we're not. There's no in between, okay? And then you get all this hype or this uh energy around people that feel like oh i got friend zoned i got what's wrong with the friend zone if it's truly your friend you understand what i'm saying yeah what's wrong with being friends people are so hurt they they take for granted the beauty that individuals have to actually share and just be able to show compassion towards one another. So I just feel like, you know, it would be such a beautiful thing if we can bring friendships back into our lives, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I'm talking about healthy ones. I'm not talking about I'm lonely right now and I need a friend. <laughs> That's how you get toxic friends, right? Yeah, I'm talking about healthy friends. So this is an American Indian symbol of two arrows crossed and it signals peace, friendship, and the end of war. Yeah. There may be a friend that, you know, you want to end in this energy, in this portal, uh, a disagreement or a misunderstanding with in this energy, okay? Yeah, and you know, that's for somebody. Yeah. Or maybe someone that you just want to end the war with and you guys don't have to go hang out, you know, at the bar tomorrow or anything like that. But it's really about just bringing peace to yourself. Yeah. Wow. A new ally, a positive support, community, a camaraderie. Meditate when you want more harmony and peace in your community. Also, use to draw new alliances and friends. Yeah, some of you just need the refreshing are welcoming the energy of new friends to be able to come into your community, your circle, all right? Home is here, home, I love it. These colors are just so beautiful today for me. I mean, I love it. I hope you guys are getting some eye orgasms like I am over here, okay? So we got home that's here. You are being guided to come back home to you and who you truly are. Drawing this card can signal a change in your physical home or sense of where you belong. Pulling this card also symbolizes 
whatever or whenever your current situation is, you can trust that this moment in this, let me run that back, okay? Pulling this card also symbolizes what? That wherever or whatever your current situation, you can trust that this moment is in alignment with your higher self. You have not lost your way. You are in fact right on time and on track. Meditate on the symbol to access your higher power. When having to make important decisions, you can always orient yourself north to the morning star and be sure that you will make the decision that is in alignment with your highest good. I like that. This is coming home to self, as well as some of you may need to take a trip back home. Yeah, and reunite with an old friend. That time just may have passed between the two of you, right? You got good fortune that comes out, beautiful ones. This is 13. Uh-huh. Good fortune is here. And good fortune signifies no matter what your query, the universe gives you its blessing. This is also a powerful time for manifesting. So ask now for what you want more of in your life. It is granted. Acknowledge the blessing in your life and more will appear. Acknowledge the blessings in your life and more will appear, beautiful ones. Look, this whole reading thus this far is on point, in alignment, okay? Tap in, beautiful ones, and message again comes out. Uh-huh. But instead of the feathers, it's the butterfly. Frequency of 33. Powerful, powerful number, okay? Powerful master number. So we have the frequency of 33 for messages. And this is a letter, text, email, vision, dream, conversion, excuse me, conversation, music, or some other form of a message is coming regarding your current situation. Be open to receive it. Meditate on the symbol to draw a message from your ancestors and guides to you at this time. This is the lunar moth. This is a moth, not a butterfly. Moth symbolize, symbolically are known for delivering messages and the size of a moth can indicate the impact of a message. I like that, yeah. Mm, I love this for you, beautiful ones. And again, your overall energy is spiritual hygiene. Let's go ahead and look and see what's behind that. Water, water. Here we go again. Yeah, wow. Water is here. With a shift that's happening. Yeah, definitely work with your water for your spiritual cleansing in this energy. Yeah, some of you could be dealing with a water sign that is of significant as well. In this energy, someone could have a water placement. So let's go ahead. Let's talk about it. Let's get into this energy. We're going to go ahead and dip off into the tarot. So let me go ahead and put these cards up. Yeah, beautiful ones. I don't like just having my cards sitting out. I know, you know, you can see other readers, they have them out and ready to go. Now, I like to keep mine in a box until it's time to unbox them. I don't know, you know, that's just me, right? So let's talk about it. I'm going to use, I'm gonna use the original Tarot, yeah. I'm breaking in my new deck, so one of the, tribe members commented on how fresh the cards look. Yeah, I feel the same way. I feel the same way, baby. Uh-huh, beautiful diamond. 
I feel the same way. And I do have my other deck. It's not even worn out. It just didn't feel like these feel anymore. So um, I'm going to be doing a giveaway soon. And with that giveaway, I'm going to gift those cards, um, that deck of cards, my original set. Uh-huh. I'm going to gift those cards okay yeah and they're still good and they're great a great deck for you to work with in the energy okay for yourself you know even giving yourself personal reads all right so let's talk about it let's see what's going on in the energy for my beautiful libras beautiful ones if you enjoy the energy of these messages be sure to hit the like button all right if not what are you doing here uh-huh. What are you doing here, darling? What are you doing here? Okay? Think about it. <laughs> ah, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Ah. Yeah. Wow. I think I did this earlier today. I worked with another deck. Uh-huh. Yeah. Temperance and the Devil. Been showing up a lot lately. It's a whole lot of shadow side energy that, you know, is, is people are dealing with in this energy. Yeah. Uh-huh. Your person. Even you, right? Uh-huh. A lot of shadow work. This is what I'm getting. I hope some whoever wins the fight wins the fight, right? Let's talk about it. Spirit, give me cards for Libra. Give me the energy for Libra. All right. Energy for Libra. Yes, please. All right. High Priestess is here. All right. Will of Fortune. Knight of Wands and Nine of Swords. All right. Hmm, interesting. Seven of Wands in reverse. And a Knight of Cups in reverse. Okay, let's explore this energy. Hmm. Overall energy is the Five of Cups. Now, someone is definitely still in this energy of a lot of regret. It could be some, really someone has taken some losses, okay? And it's been very hard for them to get over these losses. It may be something that they never get over is what I'm getting, all right? But I mean, the hope is with the energy of this card is that one day they'll raise their head up and take a look around and see the two cups that are still standing behind them, right? Mm-hmm. So we got the High Priestess here with the Will of Fortune. How many major arcanas we got? My goodness. Yeah. We got four major arcanas all in the past. Uh-huh. But the emperor, the hermit is in reverse. I'm going to sit. Okay. So, beautiful ones, I'm seeing we got a high priestess energy out here. Uh-huh. And this high priestess energy, we know this is all about going in. A high priestess, you know, this is feminine energy, 100% feminine. 
feminine energy, being so in tune, so in touch with self that you don't have any fears of feeling the most vulnerable parts of you because you know that it unleashes and it unlocks the mysteries, right? And you can listen to your intuition, speak clearly in this energy and reveal all the hidden secrets, things that you may have even had a veil on for, okay? This represents the purity or the pureness of who you are with the self-knowledge of self, right? Uh-huh. This is know thyself energy. Mm-hmm. And we have a hermit that's in reverse. This is someone who was lonely. They feel isolated and they lost their way. Uh-huh. Yeah. This is also Chiron energy, Virgo energy, third eye energy, the hermit, all right? As well as the high priestess being water energy, ruled by the moon. She too is also third eye, okay? Will of Fortune is here. And we know Will of Fortune is about the cycles of life. It also represents good fortune. And you had good fortune to come out in your signs and sacred symbols. That's what this represents. Good fortune and even unexpected events and good luck. All right? Everything that is aligned with destiny and energy. And we got the Empress. We got you here loud and proud. Uh-huh. Sitting over here in the corner, minding your business, sipping your water, uh-huh. And we got a Knight of Wands energy. Yeah. We got this Knight of Wands energy. Now, you know, Knight of Wands energy, it depends on the energy that, you know, is being worked in, on how you're going to feel about a Knight of Wands. But if we're just talking about the Knight of Wands in its purity, this is someone who is really creative and passionate and free-spirited. But let's not forget, this is a lusty person because they're ruled by their desires and their passion. And we know what the wand represents, right? Okay? So there's this energy of a knight of wands. That's here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fire energy. Leo Sagittarius, as well as Aries energy. There's the nine of swords that's here in the energy, beautiful ones. Now, this nine of swords energy, someone is dealing with some type of depression, some anxiety, and a lot of worry, some grief. They could even be having nightmares, okay? And can't sleep at night. Yeah. Yeah, this is the state that someone in the energy is definitely in. Now, we have the seven of wands. That's in reverse. Came out in reverse right under the hermit. That's in reverse, right? So, seven of wands energy. This is about somebody who feels defeated. And they also feel you know, hopeless when it comes to certain circumstances or situations, all right? And they have a lack of self-belief. This person doesn't believe in themselves, all right? Uh-huh. And someone could also feel like they're their own worst enemy because they are self-sabotaging. This is a self-sabotaging energy. Uh-huh. Someone could also want to be feeling like, uh, you know, they want to be unblocked from being kept out of someone's energy as well, okay? And then we got this Knight of Cups that's here. Mm. Knight of Cups is about, first of all, this card is about being graceful. And doesn't he look graceful? Okay, this is like Romeo Juliet. We call him the pr Prince Charming of Tarot, right? And this is an emotional offering. This is also a mediator, someone that can come and have a conversation with you and mediate the situation gracefully. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
So let's go ahead. Let's rock on out in this energy and see what's really going on. Uh -huh. I split the deck to a page of pentacles. Somebody is manifesting. I'm hearing better times in this energy, okay? They're meta manifesting better times. Give me the seven of wands in reverse. Seven of wands in reverse. Tell us more about this energy, okay? Yeah, so the two of swords comes out. This is someone who feels like it's a final decision. This is what I'm getting. And the reason why I say that is, you know, Two of Swords, this is about decision-making. Mm-hmm. It is. And it's also an energy that could feel like they want to compromise or make a decision. And this is also an energy of self-protection. And Two of Swords, this is kind of like being double-minded and having the right to change your mind about things. Overall energy is the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords, you know, some of some of you be in this energy of changing your mind about the things that you want, the things that you desire, the things that you've been manifesting. Let's talk about it. Because this is your energy overall. This is your energy, the two of swords as well. Give me so this is your energy, is what I'm getting. You've done a lot of deliberating, you've done a lot of thinking. Okay, and you also have been trying to protect yourself to the best of your degree is what I'm getting when it comes to your emotions, your thoughts, and your feelings. Give me the two of swords in this energy. Thank you, Libra. All right. Wow. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. And someone's trapped in their head about this energy. Hmm, let's talk about it. So, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, beautiful ones. Now, we know in the upright, a Ten of Pentacles energy is someone leaving a legacy behind. This also has to do with your retirement, what it looks like when you retire from the game. Uh-huh, yeah, when you call your jersey out, you know, you hang it up. <laughs> this is also about stability and a family inheritance. But look, in the reverse, this is leaving. Yeah, this is leaving. And this is a misfortune. And this is also instability. And this could even be a conflict over money. This could even be losing family, friends, okay? Over money, right? And someone is caught in their head about this energy. This is a mental imprisonment. Mm. When it comes to what it is you're clear about, the truth, you know, you could have found out something that just totally made you change your mind about something. You could have discovered something about somebody that just put you in another state of mind on what it is you believe or uh, not even what it is you believe, because when you're dealing with this eight, uh, Ace of Swords energy, this is what you became very clear about. This is clarity. This is no misconception or anything like that. This is clarity. This is the truth, okay? Maybe you having to face the truth about someone in your energy, okay? And look, you just can't get this vision out your head about this individual. You could even be trapped in your head about what it is that you know now and even having to accept that part of a person are not accepted. Or either way it goes, you have to accept it whether you invited or rejected, okay? Yeah, there was a death you put to something. Something ended. And what it is you saw, what it is that you saw is very clear about this energy or this person. Yeah, it had to end. It ended something in your energy. Maybe even the way you viewed this energy. Wow. And it could be a king of cups. It could be a king of cups. You no longer feel, you know, those feelings. Because something was very clear about this individual, okay? I split the deck. A queen of wands is here. 
Yeah, there's a Queen of Wands that's here. Mmm. With the Emperor energy. Wow. Someone from the past and the Magician. Yikes. Let's talk about it. Give me the Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Mmm. All right. Ace of Cups. Wow. This energy loves you. And I think that regardless to, you know, whatever conflict, whatever disagreement that is going on in the energy, this isn't changing. Yeah, anytime the King of Cups shows up in the reading, this is someone who is very clear about love and how it is they feel, at least in emotions, right? But this is something that is true. Regardless of what it is you discovered about this person or not, right? This energy is wanting to boss up in your energy is what I'm getting. This energy is wanting to be an emperor. Uh-huh. But they could be battling some demons is what I'm getting, all right? Yeah. Mm. Give me the hermit in reverse. Hermit in reverse for my Libra. All right. Wow. Wow. Someone is very, very lonely. And they long to have stability in the union. 11-11. This is the union card. This is even the marriage card. This is coming together with someone that is pair for you to be together with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is a soul's mate. This is when your soul has found its comfort. Mm, this is home is what I got. Someone is lonely and they desire this energy. They could even want to reach out to you and message you and tell you how they feel. Yeah, but it takes courage to do that, right? Someone wants to move forward. Are they expressing it? Probably not, right? They see you as a queen of cups. Mm. Tell us about the four of wands energy with the hermit in reverse. Four of wands energy with the hermit in reverse. The sun is here. Mm. Somebody sees you as the sun. They see the both of you being able to create happy times together with the four of wands. And this is really what the four of wands is all about. It's about that sun energy being happy with the one you love. Somebody wants a new beginning. They do. They want a new beginning in this energy. They want to take a chance. This is the chance. This is take a risk. This is that. You see, he's about to just take a risk. He's going to take a leap of faith. And, you know, wherever he lands after he gets off of this edge, uh-huh, it doesn't even matter because they took the chance, right? Mm. Give me the Will of Fortune. Oh, that's way too many. One second, beautiful ones. It's got a little wild. Got loose on me. Let's see. Will of Fortune Spirit. Will of Fortune. Where my Libra? Way too many. One off the top. Queen of Pentacles. Somebody sees you as this Queen of Pentacles energy in the Wheel of Fortune. And it's bringing some competition. And it's, I mean, it's, people are so jealous, okay? Uh, there's no other way to put it. People are so jealous. And they're watching you. 
They're spying on you. They're wondering about what you got going on. Yeah. As they go through a tower. How about that? Ain't that wild? I'd be trying to make sure, you know, my bag doesn't get thrown out the window and that I have it on my shoulder, right? But instead, they're worried about what's in your bag because they see you as the Queen of Pentacles, okay? Tell us about the Queen of Pentacles energy with the Wheel of Fortune. Queen of Pentacles with the Wheel of Fortune, all right. Yeah, oh my gosh, that's why they mad. Because the King of Pentacles, they see, look, these are people counting your chickens in the coop, okay? Yeah, because they know it's destined for you to come together with this King of Pentacles energy. It's destined. Yeah, they know that. Look, the lovers is here. Come on now. <laughs> Come on now. The chariot is here, moving forward in this energy. Look, people are fighting. They're all out of whack. They're all just, you know, a hot mess with envy, rage, and jealousy because of what it is that's in your future. Uh-huh. Yeah. People are prophesizing over your future. And they are in a tower at the moment. How about that? Mm. Somebody feels like you're going to get what's due to you. You're going to get what it is that you karmically earned. Yeah. People are mad at your good karma. Give me the king and queen of pentacles. Excuse me. Someone could have a Capricorn Virgo. Taurus placement, okay? For either one of these signs, right? Of a king and queen of pentacles. Earth energy. All right. Yeah. Eight of swords. Trapped in their head. About a king of pentacles moving forward. There are people who are trapped in their head. This is the truth. This is clarity, okay? Uh-huh. There's this energy of, uh, you know, someone knows where they should be. Energetically speaking, okay? They know where they should be. And they put a death to whoever and whatever needed to be put to a death, okay? And this is what got people all off in there. Mm. Feel it. Feels. Uh huh. Let's talk about it some more. Why is the Eight of Swords here for the King and Queen of Pentacles with the destiny? People are trapped in their head about you. Wow. My goodness. The lovers, because they're afraid, like I said. People are all in their head, trapped in their head about the lover, somebody making a choice, choosing who it is they want to love. This is the choice card and going towards the Gemini cancer energy with more cancer energy, okay? Pisces, Scorpio, with this here energy of the Seven of Cups. People are all in their head about the choice a King of Pentacles is making to go towards you and the chariot, all right? And they stuck on what it is you got going with an emperor. Whoa. They like, this is people that know. First of all, this is people that feel left out in the code, okay? Because this card is sticking up, one to be seen. Uh-huh. These people are trying to stay attached to an emperor energy, They've been holding this energy back from even being an emperor by being in their energy, number one, okay? But number two, they want to stay attached because they want to be able to be abundant, okay? And this is something that they aren't. 
This is something that they evidently aren't creating for themselves because they're in a five of pentacles energy, all right? And they're knowing that you two can have this prosperous future together and that the moment that they align with you and your energy, the moment that they align with the empress energy, they know that this energy becomes the emperor. Mm, mm, mm. The hate is real, Libra. Give me the high priestess. High priestess. I got to grip these because they will jump up out my hand. Eight of wands is here. Yeah, if someone wants to send a message to you, this high priestess energy, um, yeah, someone definitely wants to speak some type of truth, okay? They do. Someone is clear. Someone knows where it is they should be in the energy, okay? Someone wants to speak the truth. Look, we got the King of Swords here with the Ace of Swords. Somebody needs to speak the truth. I'm hearing the truth will set them free because <laughs> they've been a prisoner. Okay, this is some self-sabotaging energy holding on to the truth. Look, this is justice. This is karmic energy. Look, them speaking the truth, them being able to speak and give clarity to the situation. Uh-huh. Give that treaty of a friendship and you being in the energy of forgiveness. It's going to bring some balance in the energy. It is. Justice. This is your card. And balance here. Look, like I said, balance. This is Temperance Angel. This is about somebody learning or knowing their moderation and bringing balance and even healing to a situation through conversation, through making some type of movement in the energy to have that, okay? Mm. <sighs> Give me the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands in this energy. From my Libra. Okay. This Knight of Wands wants a new beginning. They're very passionate about this new beginning too. They've been talking to, you know, uh, this is someone that even, you know, could be connected with some type of spiritual help or getting some type of spiritual guidance because they're suffering from some type of depression, okay? This is someone who has taken some losses is what I'm seeing here. And the Hierophant is here. This is someone who is seeking counsel. And they, they could even be talking about, you know, you to this energy a queen of cups energy and heartbreak that they feel when it comes to you. Yeah, because they see you as a wish fulfillment. They want this new beginning. Give me the nine of swords. All right. They want this new beginning. Page of wands is here. This is a fresh outlook on what even a new beginning looks like in the energy, beautiful ones, okay? Now, a page of wands, you know, pages represent youth. So this person could be youthful, uh-huh, in age or just even in spirit, okay? But a page of wands energy, this is someone who, they're, they can be impulsive because they act youthful, right? They have a sense of adventure about themselves. They're predominantly a cheerful person in the right energy, right? And they're an active person. So we would like to call this energy somewhat of a busy body, right? But they're in this energy of depression. So I'm hearing that they're not even themselves these days. Mm. Wow. Because this energy has been lied to, stolen from. And they just want to move forward from that energy. They do. Seven of Swords. And this is all they think about in the Four of Swords energy. Synergy is retreating. Give me a moment, beautiful ones. Put some Florida water on my hands. Some of that juice got on it. Wow. Okay, yeah. Give me this Page of Wands energy with the Nine of Swords. Yeah. Page of Wands with the Nine of Swords. 
Come on, Libras. Let's see. Yeah, it came out. It flew out like out of nowhere. They've been through horrible deceit. They've been through atrocious endings, okay? Painful endings. Someone is stolen from them. Someone has, man. And they're still holding on. They're holding on through a tower. This energy has had to be all type of strong. Tell me about the Seven of Swords, Spirit. Tell me about the Seven of Swords energy. All right, wow. It was a collaboration. It was people who it is they collaborated with that stabbed them, okay? Multiple times, over and over again, okay? Stole from them. Yeah. Ten of Swords. And they're holding on as they go through this tower. They're asking for assistance from source, most high. I mean, this is conversations where you say, send me someone, please. That's what I'm getting. There's this energy of a Knight of Cups. Give me the Knight of Cups. Someone does have an emotional offer of love for you through it all. So it tells you the character of this individual, even through pain. Not a Queen of Wands. A Queen of Wands is here. So look, there's a Queen of Wands that comes out for this Nine of Cups energy. What I'm getting straight off the bat is there's a queen of wands that is cock blocking in the energy, all right? Because this knight of swords energy is someone going assertively after what it is that they want in order to make some changes, okay? Quick, fast changes in the energy. Uh-huh, when it comes towards somebody moving forward or even relocating. Why is the queen of wands here? Give me the queen of wands. Give me the queen of wands in this energy. Thank you, spirit. Queen of wands. All right, yeah, 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 buddy. So Tower, this is somebody who's going through their own personal hell, okay? Yeah, and they wanna take this energy down with them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. And this is some type of, um, you know, wounded hero, somebody who's been there and keeps wounding themselves over and over again. This is somebody who has a lot of childhood issues, uh-huh. Who's watching you? Who's spying on you? Uh-huh. When they need to go sit down with a therapist and watch the therapist. Uh-huh. Yeah. This energy watches you, stalks you, and they want to see what type of moves are being made in your energy, okay? Because they want to bring this energy down with them. They want to keep this energy in a dark place. They already screwed up the collaboration they have with them because someone found out about all the lies and all the deceit and all the mistrust in the energy that keeps this energy in isolation and depression. Give me the tower with the Queen of Wands. Tell us more. The tower with the Queen of Wands. Thank you. It's me. All right. Okay. These two want to come out together. <laughs> it's you wow with a king of swords in reverse <sighs> mm. wow let's look at this overall energy so we know a king of swords is vicious and malicious all right now, flip and switch these energies. And we know the queen of swords is here with the truth, speaking nothing but the truth, okay? But you got your boundaries up, you got your sword up, and anybody can get it is what I got, right? This king of swords comes out in the reverse, tells lies, malicious and vicious, and this is the energy of that queen of wands, that wounded hero chick, uh-huh, yeah, who operates in masculine energy when it comes time to getting what it is that they want. 
Yeah, they're upset because somebody put a death to their energy or even a collaboration of who it is that they are going to work with because they're concerned about this Ace of Pentacles energy, okay? This is really somebody who's going after somebody else's bag and worried about somebody else's wish fulfillment and are definitely watching you, okay, as they get this here karma, all right? They sit in this energy of being heartbroken. They do, all right? Yeah, over the King of Wands, they could have been having sex with your person, okay? Straight up, like that. That's what I'm getting. That's what I got. Let's talk about it. Give me this King of Swords in reverse and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, this is the energy of someone, um, this Queen of Wands energy that feels like they want somebody back, Okay? Uh-huh. After they done stuck 10 swords in them. Yeah. Sounds familiar, right? Sounds like your person from the past, right? Well, your person in the future or the present has is going through the same thing, okay? Strength is here. Somebody could be a Leo in this energy, okay? Yeah, but this is all about strength. This is you being strong in this energy because you know about this malicious energy. All right? You've been there, done that. Next. There's been a death put to this energy and there ain't no coming up out of that. Five of Swords. This person saw you as competition. This person saw you as someone who they wanted to go to war with. And they lost. This is a magician, Okay? Mm. Keeping someone in balance is what I'm getting. The magician. I split the deck. Manifesting. Give me the strength with the queen of swords. And this malicious king of swords. Yeah. Yeah. This is somebody, like I said, they are, this energy, this queen of wands energy, Aries, Leo. Yeah. Heavy on the Leo, right? Mm-hmm. This energy, we got the emperor out here. Somebody's worried about who it is is going to be given to you. As we said early on in the energy, they're worried about an emperor giving to you. This energy is, uh, this queen of wands is looking for a handout. And I heard, her hand has been cut off, okay? This is someone who gets no love anymore. They, whatever it is they had that they, you know, basically played out, uh-huh, they feel some type of way about it. And look, like I said, they played this energy out. They played the emperor out. Ten of swords. I mean, how many times can you stick and stab an individual before they say no more? This person, the emperor sees things from a new perspective now. It's over. <laughs> like I said, it's over. The death is here. It's a wrap. And this queen of wands energy just can't accept this energy. Yeah. It's like they know that this is it. They'll never get another emperor. And the only way they were able to have this energy from... The very beginning is because they were not an emperor energy. They were a king of wands energy, just like this queen of wands, all right? Mm. Yeah. Only out for the wand on both sides. But someone felt that they were benefiting from this energy. And when that benefit runs out, they no longer are a part of the rewards program and they don't like it. No, they don't like it. Give me the queen. Uh, give me the empress spirit. Give me the empress. All right. Yeah. <laughs> queen of wands. Woo. My goodness. This is a powerful read. Look, the queen of cups is out here. And this is how your king of cups sees you. Overall energy. Begin to their yang. 
Now, they've had other things before, but believe me, this Queen of Wands energy, who they was dealing with, possible fire sign, okay? They don't compare in any form nor fashion to the energy of a empress who is all the queens in one, okay? Wow. This this King of Cups wants to move forward with their Queen of Cups, with their Empress energy. They do. They definitely do. Mm. <sighs> Give me the Eight of Wands with the High Priestess. Eight of Wands with the High Priestess. Thank you, Spirit. All right. A king of wands comes out. Mm. I'm feeling like this is your person from the past showing up in the energy. Who can't shake you. Who sits up, thinks about you all night long because it was a missed opportunity. Yeah. Sounds about right. Yeah. Four of swords. Now, you got your king of wands still in the energy looking just as goofy as this queen of wands energy. Still trying to do some magic. Uh-huh. Still trying to manifest you. Uh-huh. With this fake ass offer of a knight of pentacles. Okay. This is the type of dude you kick down off the horse. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. I, I mean. I mean, I mean. Give me the king of wands with the high priestess energy. Look, there's a king of wands that wants to message you, that wants to, who cares, but let's talk about it, okay? Give me the king of wands in this energy. King of wands. Yeah, this is your person from the past. Yeah. You got a bugaboo and your person has a bugaboo. The empress and the emperor has a bugaboo. Look, they're still wondering if you're single because they want you to heal them from all their issues, their worries. They're keeping hope alive and they have a lot of faith, all right? This is wishful thinking, okay? Yeah, it is. Yeah, this is somebody who wants... Look, my goodness. You know, look, this is someone who is... Looking at what it is they invested in. They see you as a healing energy. And if you ask me, this King of Wands wants you to invest in them. I mean, what type of sick shit is this? Three of Wands, expansion, as well as, you know, possible even relocating. Uh, two of Cups, they see you as a divine partner i mean no let's talk about it give me the king of wands with the nine of pentacles king of wands with the nine of pentacles all right look all they do is sit up and think about you right and this is somebody who wants to come out of conflict with you five of swords is here they got to put their swords down because they probably can't even afford one Anyhow, they see you as wish fulfillment, but I can't help but to see the justice. They're going through karma. This is somebody who feels like you can actually get them out of this energy of going through the karma that it is they racked up for themselves is what I'm getting. Four of Swords here with the Nine of Pentacles and the King of Wands. Give me the Four of Swords. They're thinking about your Nine of Pentacles. They're thinking about your abundance. They're thinking about what it is that you have really worked for and gained all on your own. I split the deck, and here they are with a page of cups energy, okay? It ain't a damn thing they can do for you. Nah. Nah. Nada. Yeah, they're here with a cup in the energy of an 18-year-old, okay? And they got the drama that follows with them, okay? Conflict. This energy, this is all they want. They want to bring some chaos into your life. And this is what they manifest. This is what they think about. How can I fuck the Libra's life up? Excuse my French. And that's what your person, the Emperor's uh, Queen of Wands is doing too. So simultaneously, both these energies are wondering, how can I screw the Empress and the Emperor over again? <laughs> 
Wow. I mean, the audacity. Okay. Give me this Ace of Cups energy, beautiful. <laughs> beautiful ones. We're going to get ready to close out. All right. But let's get this Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups, spirit. Ace of Cups for my beautiful Libras. Ace of Cups for my beautiful Libras. Beautiful ones. Happy 9-9 nine, nine portal. Manifest beautifully in this energy. It's a very powerful energy. All right. Star. Wow. Look, beautiful ones. There's something being healed in this energy is what I'm getting, okay? Uh-huh. Some of you are already healed mm -hmm, in this area. Uh-huh. And just here to see how things are looking as far as the energy goes, right? But look, someone is keeping a hope and they're keeping faith alive when it comes to this Ace of Cups energy. They're holding on tight. Yeah, they're holding on tight. Your empress holding on tight. Your empress is holding on tight to your energy because they have left what no longer serves them behind. Yeah. Uh-huh. Eight of cups. And remember, 9-9-2024 nine, nine, breaks down to the number eight. This is about leaving everything behind and manifesting more. I mean, ending things for this new beginning and the energy. Okay. Powerful, powerful. Look. Uh, the world closing out cycles. This is the end of a cycle. Mm. In the energy, I split the deck. Manifest, beautiful ones. Manifest in this page of pentacles energy. Yeah, something new, something fresh. Okay? If you want a new energy to start with you and your person, this is the portal to do it in, all right? Yeah. Not these people of the past, these people under the stairs. That's what I call them. I call them the people under the stairs. Nah, mm -mm. we need an exterminator for those individuals. Mm. I'm going to tap into the sun with the higher fan. I mean, the sun is with the four of wands, but your person is in the higher fan energy, the emperor, okay? Feeling depressed, all right? even isolated, you know, in this energy. Give me the sun and the four of wands. Somebody has a lot of faith and a lot of hope when it comes to this energy. You got to hold that same vibration with your person. Uh-huh. Remember, you two are mirroring one another in this energy. Yeah. And you can forgive. You can forgive, remember? Came out as your overall energy. Eight of Cups, <laughs> you can forgive and move into calmer waters, leaving everything behind, going towards something that is better. When it comes to you and your emperor or your empress, overall energy, there's a balance that can be found. Uh huh. I I'm hearing there's a medium that can be met. Yeah. Because this offer with this energy of your emperor, it is solid. It is solid. It is. Uh-huh. Yeah. This is someone who wants to make good on their word is what I got. Yeah. Some conflict here, of course. And this is when I feel the conflict started, okay? Somebody knows that if this energy comes through for you, it's going to be for real. And it's going to be solid. And it's causing conflict between people who want that devotion given only to them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But see, someone's trying to fulfill their wishes. And they're forgetting that they're not someone's wish fulfillment. Mm. <sighs> Give me the Eight of Cups and we're going to close out. Thank you, Spirit. It's the King of Cups that comes out. King to the Queen who's watching you, who loves you, and you love him too. It's the Empress to the Emperor. Straight like that. Beautiful ones. Be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe.
become a part of this metaphysical tribe. I am Empress 444, and this is the Tarot Dynasty. Peace and love. Happy 9-9.